Hey guys, Chris Taylor here. I'm bringing you the first video in a line of series that is Media Monkey. If you're unfamiliar with Media Monkey, it is a music management system. What you're going to do is if you have music on your computer, uh, you can use Media Monkey to manage it. It is the exact same program as what iTunes is, except it's faster and it's easier to use, I find. Now, I don't hate iTunes. I'm not bashing any iTunes users out there. If you like it, use it. I'm just saying that Media Monkey is a great alternative and it can listen, it can synchronize your iPod. I can't tell people that enough. It is a great program. It does a lot of things. Okay? So we're going to go through the whole process of how to install and I'm going to give you a basic rundown of the whole Media Monkey um, experience. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to press download now on the MediaMonkey.com website. Let me click it again on another site here in a second. This is download.com. It'll bring you to here. You're going to press download now, and you're going to download the .exe file, which is the install file. Okay, For our sake, I've already downloaded it. It's on my desktop here. I'm going to double-click this. Uh, this is MediaMonkey 3.1. They actually just came out with this a little bit a while back. It's a great program, and they've just updated it quite nicely, actually. So we're going to accept all of this. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now you can change how you install it a little bit. I like Media Monkey to take over all of my music on my computer, so I can play all of my music through Media Monkey, no matter what it is. You can change it. I'm not saying to do exactly like I do. Okay? We're going to launch Media Monkey right now. Now this is exactly what you're going to see when you start up Media Monkey. It's going to tell you to reg me register Media Monkey Gold. I might do a video of Media Monkey Gold. I have Media Monkey Gold on another computer, so hopefully I can show you a video of that a little bit later, but not right now. This is the free version. You don't have to pay for a cent for what I'm showing you right now. The first thing it's going to ask you is to scan folders in your computer to find out where the music is. Okay? If you have music all over your computer, that's fine. Just click your whole hard drive and MediaMonkey will find every single file you have that is a music file. Which, I must warn you, does mean every single music file. If you're like me, you've put your music in a specific folder, and what you're going to do now is you're going to go through your computer and find your music in its specific folder. Okay. So I'm going to add just the CDs to my MediaMonkey library here. Okay. It's going pretty fast here because I've done it before already. I'm just showing you how to do it. It's going to import data if you want it to. I don't want it to import any data from Windows Media Player because I never use that. You're going to press OK. Now, I'm going to show you each, like, everything here. In the top left corner, you have this box right here, which is what you're mainly going to use when you use MediaMonkey. It starts you off. Okay? I'm going to show you how to customize it right now. You're going to press, you're going to right click on Library, you're going to go to Options, and you're going to choose the tree nodes. Tree nodes are all of these things you see here. You can click and choose which ones you would like to use. Now, I don't like artist and album artist. I just want album artist because usually that comes up with the best name for who makes the CD. Okay, so I'm going to pick album artist. I don't really like location. I don't care where it is. I don't like computer that much. I don't really like composer. All uh, the rest are fine. We're going to click OK. It's going to clean up a little bit here. Uh, okay, so in our library we have album artists. If you want to just go find a song using album artists, you can. You press the plus button here, and it shows all of your artists in a nice little... Right? Now we also have album, genre, year, rating, classification, files to edit, all of those. It also has playlists. It has a couple auto playlists that have already been um, put on here. It has accessible tracks. You can make one audio CD worth. I like these two, the last 50 played and the top 50. So it's going to show you what the top 50 songs you have played are. Okay. Now that's enough for this little part right here. Uh, what I'm going to show you next is a couple of these buttons up here. This button is to rip selected audio. Now, if you have a CD from your computer, you put it in your computer, and you want to put the CD somewhere on your computer, you can use Media Monkey to do that. You can rip it to the hard drive. You can also burn CDs. This is a great, great way to burn CDs. Press this button, 
and it'll come up with a disparting wizard. You go through all of the options. It's really easy. Uh, it doesn't do anything special. It just burns an audio CD. That's it. Okay. This is an option for synchronizing uh, your MP3 player or iPod if you have an iPod. Okay. Uh, what else am I going to show you here? Let's see. Now, if you would like to play a song, let's open up a little bit of Animal Collective. When you start playing a song, it's going to show the album art in this corner right here. It's also going to show the album art down in this corner. Okay? It's going to show that the whole CD is playing in this side right here. Okay? Now let's stop that. As you can see, the song title comes up, the artist comes up, and the album title comes up. You get a little uh, thingy here, I don't know. You can also rate the CD right here. If you rate it five stars, it'll come up with five stars when you are going through your media monkey. Okay, let's go like this. We're going to remove all of these. Re remove from now playing only. Now, this now playing is a great, great, great thing. If you've ever used Amarok, it's kind of like that. It can act as a playlist. Okay, so you're going to bring songs over onto your playlist as much as you want. If you go down here and you like, oh, I want to hear brand new bring you know a song over from brand new or if you want to hear some data rock you can do that too you can make this now playing into a playlist if you wish you can save it on your computer it's great uh, I love it that's one of my favorite things in media monkey okay um, let's see what else there if you can see these three buttons here there are three ways to look at the media monkey um, layout you can do this is what I have. It's usually the fastest. It just shows all the names of the songs, the artist, and the album. Or you can do a little bit fancier and you can go with pictures. Pictures takes a while to load up, as you can see. Um, it also slows down the program a little bit, but not too much. Use one more, you can go by picture and uh, and the, the names of the artist, the titles and the dates and everything like that. This one's pretty cool too. It also takes a little bit while to bring up the pictures. Okay, so that's it for the Media Monkey Basics. I'm going to show you another video very soon with a little bit more. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing in the video. Just uh, be wary that it's going to be great and I'm going to show you a lot more. Okay, this is just the basics. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, watch another video.